Say, how do I know if I feel the burden? Uh, Nehemiah, the way you know Nehemiah felt the burden is because that's what he talked about. The first thing that he asked when the Hananiah and the friends from Judah came in, he says, tell me about God's people, tell me about God's city, uh, tell me about God's plan. Listen to your prayers. Are you always praying about um, selfish things? Are you always praying about your own agenda? God, this college, this test, do you ever care about what God cares about in your prayers? Listen to what you talk to people about. Listen to what it is that you're complaining about. Listen it is to your burden. What is your burden about? Is your main burden what God is burdened about? That's how you know. He said, well, what do I do? Um, well, don't pray for vision. That's one of the mistakes I made early on in my ministry. I remember reading all these leadership books, and all the leadership books would say, if your leader doesn't have a vision, just might as well get rid of him. And I'm going, oh, man, what's my vision? <laughs> you know, what's my vision? And I remember you know, going out, waving my hands, God, give me a vision. Kind of like getting struck by lightning. Give me a vision. Stand up on the mountains. Give me a vision. Magical mountains. No vision, no vision, nothing. Nothing I was excited about. Don't pray for a vision. Pray for a burden. Because visions are born inside the burden. And so you pray something to the effect, God, help me to see like you see. Help me to feel what you feel. Open my eyes. Who knows? There may be something in your workplace that God wants you to do. He's going to give you a vision. But until you open your eyes and see your workplace, that God, the way that God sees your workplace, you're going to miss it. There may be something in your school. There may be something uh, in your family. There may be something in this church, a ministry that doesn't even yet exist because you just, you haven't prayed for God to open your eyes. So pray that God give you a burden.